so firstly take a new document and i will use this color so firstly i will tell you the code of these colors so this is red and this is the code cf 5c41 and orange e4 9f40 blue 2fa 0b2 gray dark 6e7176 and light gray e1 ea e7 now these are the color i will use uh, you can note down the color's name and uh, go to this uh, shape tool polygon choose polygon tool and uh, take a polygon here control t and uh, i want like this mm. firstly i will create one then i will copy the another ones mm. in the first row i will three in the second row i will take four polygon and in the third row i will take three now right click on there go to blending options now firstly i will take in a shadow 45 degree angle i want make it large distance and uh, opacity i like i want uh, about 30 mm, i will try 30 angle i will try 40 angle i think 60 degrees working so these are the settings and take these settings now click on okay now control click on the layer now take a selection make a new layer and uh, choose this brush and make sure you have this white apply once on there control z and uh, reduce the opacity so control d to deselect now merge both layers by pressing control e okay mm. now control z uh, firstly i will make a new group shift this to a group and now control j to make a copy of this group okay now make another copies of this so before that uh, something i just forgot right click on there go to blending options and i want stroke here uh, that should be gradient and uh, it should be angle should be around uh, this and reduce its opacity something like 40 i want now click on okay now this is ready okay now this time take a new copy by pressing control j hide this and uh, make many copies of this mm.
so in this way you can align your project mm. so these are the group working on this mm. now select all select one and uh, press shift on the keyboard and then you will get selection on all now control T to transform it so that we can adjust the size now click on ok so I got this now select this this one go to blending options right click on there I want to change its color so go to gradient sorry color overlay and choose this color now click on ok click on ok choose this one right click on there go to color overlay I want this color that's fine and now choose this right click on there go to blending options now choose color overlay so these are the pattern I got now go to this layer background layer now right click on there I want something like gradient like this instead of white I will choose this something great on now hide this background layer now go to this layer press ctrl shift alt e and but before that ctrl z I have to hide this layer also um, now ctrl shift alt e ok hide all layers now we are ready with that, this shape now we have this long shadow uh, PSD file so in which we can create our long shadow for our design so in this PSD you have this right shadow and left shadow I want left shadow now click on there this group now double click on this layer this layer you will get message like this now click on ok now just replace this text with the shape that we have created so drag this shape to choose move tool and uh, apply here and uh, delete this layer now we have to save just close it then yes I want to save it now go to this file now we have this shadow effect now you can move this layer to your original project select this firstly Control Z. Mm. Firstly, we have to select this, or you can directly select this. Now hide this layer. Now we are ready with the shadow. now we can put text on there 
so firstly I will put some icons so that we can get the perfect graphic design mm. so these are the PNG graphic design already we have mm. firstly I will take some of this click on ok So I need one more icon Now select all layer, click on, click on once Click on one layer and uh, Press shift on the keyboard and click on the last one now reduce all opacity around I want 40 I think 40 is working better mm. now we can add text here now so in this way you can create your own graphic design so thank you friends keep watching our discretion I hope you have liked this video and uh, keep in touch with us thank you friends